In this video, you're going to learn how to organize your Gmail inbox by using the tabs and the layout setting. From your inbox, click the gear icon. This will show you the quick setting. The quick settings are organized in several sections, the first of which is density. Density controls how tight your inbox is. So from here, it's set to default. With default, any attachments have an icon below the subject line. For example, these pictures are shown below the subject line in this email. If you click on comfortable, instead of showing the attachments below the subject line, you get the paperclip icon to the right of the subject. The next option is compact, which is just more compact. Very similar to comfortable, just a little bit tighter. I'm gonna switch back to default for the rest of this demo. The next section is theme. The item selected here is the default theme that most people start with. If you click on view all, this gives you a new window where you can select various pictures, or you may want the dark theme, which is very popular. Um, you could also use your own photo that's uploaded to your Google photo account. Underneath theme, you find the inbox type. Right now we're using the default theme. If you click customize on that, you have the option to hide the social or the promotion tabs that are seen here at the top. If I deselect social and promotions and click save, those two tabs are removed and instead, and all the emails are combined into this one tab. If I go back to customize, I can re-enable those two tabs and click save. The next option under inbox type is important first. If you select important first, Gmail tries to find all the emails that should be a priority to you and sorts them to the top. If you have an email that is important to you, you can also click this icon here to highlight that. That'll automatically flag it as an important email to you. Unread first is a very popular option. It takes all the emails that have not been opened. The sender and subject are highlighted for unread emails and sorts those to the top. The starred first option takes any emails that you flagged as starred and sorts those to the top. The priority inbox is a more complex layout option. With that, it takes important unread, starred, and everything else and creates sections for those. If you click on customize, you can control which sections are shown by either hiding some of them or by adding your own. So if you click on add section, then click on more options, you can include an inbox section for anything that has a matching label. The multiple inbox option is another complex option. With that, it creates different sections such as starred or drafts. If you click on customize, you can use search queries or filters to create your own sections. So in this case, I'm going to put in colon eBay because I have a label for eBay messages and I'm going to call this section eBay. Scroll down, click Save Changes, and now in my inbox I have a section that's labeled eBay with all messages that came from eBay because I previously had them labeled that way. You could use this to automatically label any emails that come in from your boss or from your team, and when you have them labeled like that, you can have that organized into your inbox like this. Now I'm going to go back to the default option to show you the next section, which is the reading pane. By default, the No Split option is selected. If you select the right of inbox, when you view that message, it'll show you what the message is on the right hand side. You can also have the email message shown below. If you are an Outlook user, this will look very familiar to you. This is kind of the layout you see with Outlook. The last section under your quick settings is your email threading. By default, Gmail has all emails with the same subject line grouped together as a conversation. Some people hate that, some people love that. So if you deselect this, it will instead have each email show up individually in your inbox, not grouped by subject line. So try that out and see which way you like better. Those are all the settings you can use to organize your Gmail tabs and layout. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help.